Incident assigned. They almost ran me over. Hello. Hey. hey, sir. How much you had to drink tonight? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing at all? Nothing at all, sir. I'm sorry, I'm just going to run You almost ran me over. It was me that you almost ran over when you were driving right by me. Okay, I, when there's police lights lighting, lighting up the, 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 the uh, road over there. Um, so so it's, it's just been a, a night where I was just on our way home and we were leaving. You mind stepping out for me? Yeah. Nice truck. Expensive truck. Oh, sorry, sir. So where are you coming from tonight? Come on over here. Leaving the beach, heading home. Leaving the beach, heading home? Heading home. Nothing to drink tonight? No, sir. So it's just, you said they're passengers? Yeah, just passengers. But I can smell it in your breath. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's them. I was just kissing my girlfriend. Apologize. That's that's what you're gonna say? That you're kissing your girlfriend, so that's why you have alcohol coming off your breath. I'm sorry, sorry, yeah. That, that was, that's what I was talking about. Okay. Well, would you mind if I checked your eyes and make sure you're safe to be driving, sir? Yes, sir. Sarge, can you kill your lights? Why don't you just put your feet together from your heels and toes, touching like my hands at your sides. Do you wear glasses of contact, sir? No, sir. Okay, perfect. Have you hit that, your head really, that, really hard in the last 24 hours where you caused you to vomit or something? Um, not in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. So, you see that red light on my pen? Yes, sir. Why don't you just follow with your eyes, your eyes only, don't move your head. I want you to keep your chin level for me, though. Yes, sir. Move your head, just try it. Just try it. Moving your head, okay? I need you to keep right. your head still, put your nose facing me, and just move your eyes, okay? Sure thing. I'm sorry, I'm, I can't turn my head that far. Just chin, really keep your, neck, your neck. chin level for me. What's your problem? You're looking up. Keep your chin level okay, for I'm me. Sorry. I, you have neck drive. problems. I was just trying to tell you I can't, like... Yeah, I don't want so, you to move your head. Okay, you keep well, moving I, your head. I understand that, but I can't... I, if I if I look too far, that way I have to turn my head because my neck is a little... Just try. You don't need to move your head. That's fine. Okay, keep your chin level for me, though. Okay, no problem. There we go. We're going to do this little pass again. so far, Ben. Without, right. without my neck turning, I can't okay. only look so I far. I need you to follow my instructions, sure. okay? Keep your chin level for me. Your chin is still on level. There we go. Okay. Well, you're holding it above my head. I'm sorry. I'm not holding it above your head. Okay. Okay, keep your feet together for me. Heels and toes touching. There we go. Right, moving nice and slow.
you mind if I go out of the car for a second? I don't want you out of the car. Okay. We're going to go up two times. Just try us. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move around your face like this in a circle. I want you to fall with your eyes. I'm going to bring it towards the bridge of your nose. I'm not going to make contact with you. It's going to feel like your eyes want to cross, okay? okay. Just go ahead and let them do what they do naturally, all right? Sure. Here we go. Do you want them to follow yep, the follow light? Yep, follow the light. Or? Yep, follow the light. One more time. Last thing I want you to do is look up in the sky for me. Okay. Close your eyes. I promise it's not a trick, okay? Look up starting the right. Okay. So your feet are together for me, heels and toes touching. Okay. Heels and toes touching. There yeah. you go. Touch your head back. Look in the sky. Okay. And close your eyes. Try to relax. Can you touch me, please? All right, you can relax. All right, sir. Here's where I'm at. Now, I am seeing some signs of impairment. We're going to ask, are you willing to further participate in some field sobriety exercises? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay. sure. Why don't you just come over here? I'm just hang tight. Uh -huh. Drop the uh, driver's info into the call. Actually, we're going we're gonna to do it right over here. Okay? That line that's a little bit better. Yeah. That one is It's it's because it's wet, so my tape's not gonna stick okay. here. Sorry. So I'm gonna make sure that uh I think this one's okay. Mm. No. Probably these ones. We're gonna go over here. Alright. Just stand right here at the top of the line for me. I'm going to start just by asking you a few personal questions. Can you state your full name for me? Nicholas Amboya. Okay. And what race do you identify with? Is that a loaded question? No. It, what, it's white? a question. Yeah, I have, white? I have to ask. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, right. that's a, you know. Okay, white. And what's your date of birth, sir? July 27, 1990. Okay. Um, do you have any physical defects? Aside from injuries, um, no. Okay. <laughs> Are you sick or injured right now? Uh, other than. What do you do for work? I'm sorry? What do you do for work? I am a music producer. Music producer. Okay. All right. Um, are you diabetic? No, sir. Blood sugar, but not diabetic. Yeah, you take insulin? No, sir. Okay. You take any medications prescribed to you? Um, I asked you girls already, do you wear glasses or contacts? You said no. no sir. Um, what's your highest level of education? Uh, GED. GED. Okay. Have you, have you consumed any alcohol beverages in the past 24 hours? Uh, no, sir. Have you used any illegal drugs or narcotics to include marijuana in the past 24 hours? No, sir. Okay. This may sound like a silly question, but do you know your left from your right? Yes, sir. Okay. I have to ask some people don't know. Which yes, one's your left? Which one's your right? You got it. Okay. So this first exercise is called the walk and turn. What I'm doing is put you in a starting position. And once I put you in that starting position, I don't want you to move from the starting position, okay? So starting position, you don't want to move from the starting position. Yep, once I put you in it, okay? But I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I'm going to give you the instructions, ask you if you have any questions, and then we'll address those questions, okay? okay. You see this line that's painted down in front of you? Yes, sir. You see anything that may prevent you from walking on that line? Any potholes, rocks, or sticks in the way? Uh, Obstructing it? Not, no. No? Okay. Do you feel like there's any reason why you can't walk on that line? Uh, aside from the rain, no sir, I don't think it's raining that hard. No, no, it's not raining anymore. It's okay. Still drizzly, but... Okay, all right. Okay. So the starting position is going to be like this, okay? Why don't you go ahead and place your left foot on the line. 
Yeah. Yep. Take your right foot, place it directly in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toes of your left. Hands at your side. And I need you to remain in that position until I finish the instructions, okay? When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on this line, touching heel to toe on each step with no space in between. This is step one, or do we no. start with the your, your, your step is going to be your back foot. I'm going to explain it to you, okay? And I'm going to demonstrate it. Yes, sir. At the end of your ninth step, you're going to make a turn in which I'm going to show you, and you're going to take nine more heel to toe steps back down the line. Okay. While you do this, you're going to keep your hands down at your sides. Look down at your feet at all times and count each step out loud so that I can hear you. Okay? One through nine. It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you, okay? Watch me, okay? One, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. On your ninth step, leave your front foot planted on the line. Take your back foot off, make a series of small steps, just like this to turn yourself around while pivoting on that front foot. And once you completed the turn, I want you to return back down the line with nine more heel toe steps. The back foot's gonna be your first step. I'm gonna show you again. One, two, three, four, and so on until you get to nine. Okay? Now, I want, during the exercise, I want you to keep your hands at your sides, okay? Look down at your feet at all times, kind of spell out loud. I stop so that I can show you to turn. I don't want you to stop. Okay. Once you start the exercise, don't stop like walking. Okay. Don't stop walking until you've completed it. Okay. Do you understand the exercise? Yes, sir. You all the instructions? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have any questions? I mean, it's a lot, but yeah, sure. I can do it. One, one through nine here and turn around and come back one through nine. Just like I explained? Yes, sir. All right. Do you have any more questions? That, that'll be it. All right, so when you're ready, you can begin. Just like I explained. All right, you can relax, sir. You going to face me? All right, so we'll step over here for a minute. This next exercise is called the one leg stand. Okay, what I'm going to do is have you stand with your feet together for me. Heels and toes touch like mine. Heels and toes touching. Yeah, Hands at your sides. Heels and toes touching? Yeah. yeah. Right, hands at your sides? Yeah. Got some knee injuries here, so it depends which leg we're working with. Okay. I'm going to give you the option to go with either leg. Both are a little messed up, so we'll see. Okay. Are you able to do this exercise? I hope so. I mean, okay. I used to ride dirt bikes, so my knees are a little okay. not, not happy. But. All right. Let me go through the instructions, okay? And you can yes. tell me if you can do it or not. All right? So, this is hands at your side. This is a starting position. I need you to remain in that position until I finish the instructions. Do you understand, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So, when I tell you to begin, you're going to raise the leg of your choice approximately six inches off the ground. I'm sorry, my feet were rubbing against. I just gave myself like a half an inch of space. I'm sorry, they're together. I just okay. I can't press them like that. All right, but you're going, to, you're going to raise it up approximately six inches off the ground, which is about the height of a soda can, just like this. Okay? Yes, Point that raised foot forward so that the foot is parallel with the ground. Which foot? Okay, the raised foot. All right. Uh, while keeping both of your legs, listen. While keeping both of your legs straight, you can look down at your raised foot and count out loud. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, and so on until I tell you to stop counting. During exercise, I want you to keep your hands at your sides. Don't use them for balance. I want you to sway. I don't want you to hop. And I don't want you to put your foot down. If you do happen to put your foot down, to pick it back up. Continue counting where you left off. Don't start over. So, for example, if you drop your foot on a thousand five, once you regain your balance, pick it back up. One thousand six, one thousand seven, one thousand eight, and so on until I tell you to stop counting. Okay. Do you understand the instructions? Uh, I think so. Any questions? No. What should we be using to raise up? Um, I I prefer to balance on my. They're both messed up, so we'll just go with my right one. Your right leg? Okay. Just I mean, second I don't want to stand on my right leg. Okay. Whichever one. You, once you raise the leg up, though, I don't want you to switch legs, okay? Okay. All right. No, I'm, uh, Hold on, give me a second. No, nope, I don't need you practicing any. There's no practices, okay? But okay, I don't run my I just feel. They're both a little messed up. Which one would you want to raise up? I just up? want to feel which one hurts worse. That's all, that's all I'm trying to say. Because I, I, I mess up both my knees. Just, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll lift up the right one. Your right leg? Okay. I will start my time when you pick up your leg and begin counting, okay? Whenever you're ready. And my knee or straight? Remember, leg straight, right? Okay, both our legs are going to be straight when you do this, okay? Sure. Whenever you're ready. Yes, sir. Remember, hands at your sides. 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, 1,018, 1,019, 1,020, 1,021, 1,022, 1,023, 1,024, 1,025, 1,026, 1,027, 1,028, 1,029, 1,030, 
1014. Remember, hands at your sides. 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019. You can stop. Can I right here? Nope, you can stop. All right, next exercise is called the finger to nose. All right, what I'm going to do is have you stand with your feet together from your heels and toes touching. Bring your hands up like this and close them. Extend your pointer fingers, bring them down, and turn your palms forward. This is a starting position. I want you to remain in this position until I give you the further instructions, okay? Yes, you understand? Yes, All right, so what I tell you to, you're going to tilt your head back, you're going to close your eyes. Okay. You're going to hear me say left or right. When you hear me say left, you're going to bring your left hand up and touch the tip of that finger to the tip of your nose and then immediately put it back down to your side in one fluid motion. When you hear me say right, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to bring your right hand up and touch the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose and immediately put it back down to your side in one fluid motion. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, these are the tips of your fingers, okay? These are the pads of your fingers and these are the sides. All right? So I'm going to show you again, if this was an example of your nose, tip of the finger, tip of the nose. Not the pad, not the sides the tip of your finger, okay? okay? I want you to touch the very tip of your nose, not the top, bottom, or the sides of your nose, but the very tip of your nose. Just along the side like this? Okay, yep, you're gonna stand just like that, but I'm gonna tell you, remember, if I say left, boom, if I say right, boom, and right so back down, okay? Tip of the finger to the tip, tip of, of the finger to the tip of your nose. Okay. Do you understand my instructions? Yes, sir. Do you have any more questions? Do you have any questions? No, sir. All right, sir. So, your hands are here, feet are together, touch your head back, look in the sky, close those eyes for me. Keep those eyes closed. Left. Right. Left. Right. His eyes closed. My eyes are closed. Are right. Are you squinting closed? Left. All right, you can relax. I have one last exercise for you. You can relax for a minute. All right, this one's called Modified Romberg Balance. Sounds a lot harder than it is, okay? All right, so I want you to feet together for me, heels and toes touch like mine, hands at your sides, and I need you to remain in that position until I give you the instructions. Do you understand, sir? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm gonna tell you two, you're gonna tilt your head back, you're gonna close your eyes. You're gonna hear me say begin. When you hear me say begin, I want you to remain in that position until you feel that 30 seconds has passed in your head, not out loud. I'm going to go through the instructions again, okay? Yes, sir. So, when I say begin, you're going to touch your head back, okay? Yes, sir. You're going to close your eyes. You're going to hear me say begin. And when you hear me say begin, I want you to remain in that position until you feel that 30 seconds has passed in your head. Not out loud. So, tilt my head back, close my eyes, and count to 30? However you like to do that. You're going to estimate 30 seconds in your head, not out loud. Okay. Once you feel you've reached 30 seconds in your head, you're going to bring your head forward, open your eyes, and say stop. That's it. You understand the instructions? Do you have any questions? No, sir. All right, remember, don't start your estimation until you hear me say begin, okay? Okay. All right, touch your head back. Close those eyes. Begin. Instructions. Oh, we're saying stop. Oh, stop. All right. Sorry, All right. Very good. We have to get up you like. No, you're good. We're gonna come over here.
Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right what I'm going to do is I put you in two handcuffs because you're kind of a, you got some big shoulders there, okay? okay. So, relax. I'll try to explain everything to you one step at a time, all right? All right, if I have one step at a time. They're not in too tight, are they? Uh, no, sir. Okay. I'm going to lock them so they don't move on you. I'm just going to place you under arrest for DUI. The next part of my investigation is a breath test to determine its alcohol content. Are you willing to provide me a sample of your breath? Um, sure. Sure? Um, what's, if, I, if, I, if I don't, what, what's the outcome if I don't? Let me explain it to you. I'm now requesting that you submit to long for test of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. When you take the test, would you say yes? But now you're asking what happens if you don't. I'm just if you refuse to take the test at request of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for the first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you were previously fined under state statute 327.35215, which is the boat BUI, boating statute, for refusing to submit to a lawful test of your breath during the blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test at request of you, and if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you were previously fined under state statute 327.35215, Two one five for a refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath or no blood. Do you, do you, that you will be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusal to submit to the test I request is admissible to evidence in any criminal proceeding. Yeah, you can go ahead and take a look at it now. I can't hold it. I'm sorry. Oh, I got you. Are you a CDL holder? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Okay. Understand that, sir? You're good? Okay, I'm so slow reader. So are you. Still reading, boss man. Alright, well, listen, I read it to you. Okay. I'm, I'm still reading, man. I'm sorry. Right, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still listen, reading, man. Listen, I've sorry. read it to you. What that basically says is that if it's the first time you refuse, you lose your license for a year. If it's a second or subsequent refusal, so if you refuse in the past, it's going to be an 18 month suspension on your license and it's an additional charge for, for it, okay? For, for refusing. So, with that said, I'm going to ask on final time if you're willing to give me a sample of your breath. May I speak to my legal counsel? No, when it comes to implied consent, no, you don't get a legal counsel, okay? There's no legal counsel. No, here. not when it comes to implied consent, no, sir. Okay. Breathalyzer. Hey. Uh, okay. Understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir. It's up to you. Uh, I can't make a decision. You can't make a decision? No, sir. I can't make a decision. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you down to the instrument. I'm going to give you the opportunity down there to provide a sample since you're indecisive. I just, I'm indecisive. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. Spread your stance for me. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Earplugs, earplugs, and a letter. There's a letter. I know, this is part of this procedure. All right. We're going to walk over here to my side, okay?
Alright, sir, just have a seat inside here for me. Watch your head as you step in, okay? Yes, sir. New consultation.
So it starts just to like this, okay? This little thing to left one point.
license, I'm sober. If anything, license works. I don't want to get the car Except You said why well, I show up here. I don't know why we're here. You're I'm fine. just here as backup. I didn't expect you this, to. This stuff isn't made up. No, this I know. And I understand that. I'm standardized for the entire country. You don't I'm make this stuff up. I'll run one of these and I'll pass it. I got you. Field sobriety, if you need to, I'll try to truck home. I have a license, though. I know it's not your case, it's not a no, I'm just here. Okay. <laughs> I know, but if you want to input it at any point, I got you. <laughs> I 
I have a license and I got the car. Here's my fucking license. That's you got the fucking thing though. Okay. This is right, bullshit. Yeah, okay, this is fucking oh, bullshit. Oh, I work in a men's prison Stop. and the Stop. people that work for me, I felt so bad for them because they didn't have an attorney and they got fucked with. I can get one with, if you need to. I'm really sober. I was a commissary manager. I came with them. I'm sugar. 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 I
He, he, uh, he's the one that's going to make decisions so when he's done talking to him. That's uh, understandable. I just wanted to let him know as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wraps around. Yeah. It's it's very cheap. You only need hold on, hold on one second. One of these options might get involved. Yes, sir. It's, oh. it's a very cheap bond. You know? it's, it's, it's a five hundred dollars. Yeah. Can I put it up myself? Yeah. yeah. Oh hell, forget it. I got five hundred bucks on me. I'll put it up myself. You can't do it right now, but let's see. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. the officer. Said it's only five hundred bucks. Yeah. 
It's always some some type of yes drama. Okay, well, you know, the officer said he's down. He's going to ask his dad what he wants to do with the truck when he gets off the phone. Because I can't see I'd rather get it done now than ever. I'm not trying to come to the situation. I know how it is. I'm just literally going five minutes up the road to her house. She was taking me home to stay over there. I came back to visit their car. If you need me to drive, I'll take care of it. I'm not going to try to do that first. You're going to see what he wants to do with the truck. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, he's going to spend eight hours in custody. Then I'll get it off my coffin. I literally just dropped it. It's not on the door or anything. There it is. Sorry, got my charger. Sorry, sorry. I promise I'll run a sobriety test. I promise. I'll do a sobriety fucking test. No, she won't. I will. Yes, I will. A thousand fucking percent. I'm trying to be the nice friend here. I promise. I'm just trying to be the nice friend here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unless you tell me. I'm just okay, thank you. I'm sorry. No. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the peace. I'm trying to keep the peace. I was a prison worker. I understand that. Ma I don't. I wouldn't yeah. let my step look like Kobe. I drove driver. Okay. No, you don't even know. I, I would never I don't. ride in a car with I'm someone not who was to. drunk. And you guys bully Nick because he's Hulk Hogan's son. And it's fucking bullshit. But take me to jail instead. Because that's fucking bullshit. Please don't. No. Please don't. I need, her. I need to go you home. You guys are not. You guys are fucking fucked. No. I'm sorry. It's a bad night. I'm oh. having a great night. I got dumped this morning and I went three grand, okay. so I'm having a better day. Okay. Okay. Okay.
See him in eight hours. You're gonna see him in eight hours. I know, but it's just her fuck. best friend. You don't know about his wreck before, and his best friend who's now a vegetable, and that's all put on Nick. And like, that's not. I'd, 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 fun. Be same, I'd be in the same. I'd be in the same with no hey. lube. No, hey, just no. Just I know it's no, but no. Yeah. You guys are being bullshitters. That's the bullshit. It's fucking straight bullshit. No. No. I Feelings and emotions and alcohol, you know really how it Way so more fucked up, and you guys are picky on oh, Nick. This is bullshit. Thank God, I'm not yelling at you either, right? No. Take me to jail. Arrest me. I'll give a fuck. <laughs> Me. I no, my little brother's best friend is the chief of police at CP police department. So I, I try. I mean, I definitely don't agree in 99% of the time, but I keep the peace. And like I said, What's your name? What's your name? Lucia. Alright, so I'm gonna have you blow into the breath test. Yes, sir. See if you can drive it off every time. You do a PBT, my PBT breath test. What's everyone do? Hi. Put your feet together real quick. Okay. Close your touch cup. I've had a question before. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. His battery. Don't give me a faulty no. meter, please. His battery is there. I'm going to go grab okay. mine. I'm going to come with you. Is that okay? No, you're going to stay right here. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. I'll stay right here. His battery is dead. I got it. One second, hold on. 
Big deep breath. Blow like you're blowing the biggest balloon of your life. Ready? Go. Got to blow harder. Get them an Uber. Or you, you... I can get an Uber if anything. Okay, but... So she can't drive. No, no I blow. A, I blow at a point one two. I cannot drive. Tell by just talking to her. Like me, I can blow. You can tell by talking to me because I used to work in a men's prison and I'm fucking upset with you guys. Excuse me. It doesn't matter. No. You haven't even let me blow. Do you want to blow? Yes. Okay. I work in a men's prison. Yes, have her hang out right there. Just to satisfy her, she's yep, kind of blowing the PVC. Porn star, that's as hard as I can blow. Sorry, Google me. I'm sorry. I'm sad. Like, I was a commissary manager and I, I sat with people who did BWI, the boating wall, and talk to and I was like, I didn't know that was possible. No, she didn't blow harder. Uh, I can blow harder. Okay. I, I don't so, have a lot of lung so, capacity. Right, so, I know right, how so to do this. I'm not dumb. Consistent. I'm trying. I have little lungs. Me. It's funny, I know it. I'm telling you, like, you guys are being so fucking assholes. I used to work in a prison. I hated everyone. Good! Oh. I'm not doing anything wrong. Big, big deep breath and blow. You gotta blow harder and consistent. Consistent. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, my lungs are this wide. I don't need that. What am I gonna do with that? Sell out my only hands? Like, thanks. I'm not drunk. I'm emotional. I'm sad. Yeah, why are we getting them? Racing. On the bowling booth, racing all day. I'll do another right. one. I'm not drunk. I'm sad. I used to work at a prison. Right. I was commissary right. Stop manager. talking for two I seconds will. so you can get your breath because you're not giving a complete sample. Because it's right. under the limit and you don't believe me. No, yes. That's not why. If it okay. was under the limit, it would say it was under the limit. It's just saying she's talking too much. All right. Big this deep breath. I can't breathe that deep. Alright. And blow. 
I'm going to like pass out. If I go to the hospital, are you going to pay for me to go to the hospital? No. No. Check my eyes. I can. I can. One, two, five. Point one two five. I don't know. It's double. It's double. Uh, double leg one and a half times over. Can I get my house keys out? Cause I have, I have right no, that's not it. I need my bag out the window. No, can I, get, no, we have a new key. Get, get, I'll get show you. Stuff. Like, get your stuff. Get your why stuff. are you so mean to me? I'm not mean to you. You are. I'm you are. Can you grab your stuff? I know you have to do your job, but like, I'm trying to like, just be like sad. No, like, you don't. I understand. I understand. I you, have to, you don't have to go talk to them right this second. Can you talk to me? What's up? I used to work as a, at a fucking men's prison. But we have like, a job I understand that. So I'm not I'm not saying you're not doing your job, but you're being kind of shitty to me. You're like, don't talk to me. Don't talk. I'm like, I didn't, I, no, I you said, you told me to stop talking. Because I'm emotional. I get it. I, but no, it. it doesn't matter. I know, but it doesn't matter. I'm didn't here. Know what was so I would just like we the respect of him talking to me. That's fine. That's fine. That's the problem. That's only it. That's fine. I would just appreciate if you spoke to me. And not, you were just like saying shit out the window. I didn't even see your face. I don't even know you. And like I can name drop all day and say I work in a prison, but like I'm in the union with like I'm in the same union as you. But I'm just saying it doesn't matter about shit about shit. But just don't be ugly to me because like I understand. I understand. You do your job. That's fine. But you haven't even given me like a an actual like human response. You've been talking to me. You're just like a piece of shit out the window. Yes, you have. I just wanted to look at your face. I haven't even seen your face. So, like, if you're going to take my man away tonight, I just want to look you in the face and understand. I get it. I know you're doing your job, but, like, you're, like, yelling at me through the window, and I don't even get to see you. So, like, I I worked in a prison. I work with pieces of shits that are actually pieces of shit. You have the key to the truck. No. He does. I just wanted to get the house key. I asked him if he could help me get my house key. Because I have four dogs and a She hasn't got the house key yet. She hasn't got it yet. She'll grab it, though. Yes, go grab your purse. Can you help her get all her stuff? Tana, are there any house keys? I can try, but need? I don't know how much mentality I have. Oh, good. She said no. It's, uh, I guess the old house keys are there. I got the Uber. Though. Okay. Oh. How far are they away? Can you please figure out where I'm going? The lights Okay. He's, he's okay. taking possession of it. Thank God. Okay, but thank God. Okay, can you please? I'm trying to. I'm just going to load him. It's not going in. Hey, dad's right. His dad's it. taking it. His dad's I'm taking the truck. truck. His dad's taking it. His dad's taking it. I got, taking I got it. my lawyer coming here to drive the truck. They're all taken care of. You're good. I know. 
Okay. It's yep. all coming. It's That's all coming. Like, Take what you need for the house and what I need. You're good. Right. Take what you need and what I need. Do you have lift? Uh, give it a second. Hold on. It's about to load. There we go. All right, seven, seven minutes, minutes away. Okay. All right. Just help her get her stuff. Yeah, I'm Just trying. what you need for tonight because... It's not I going know. in town, he's taking the truck. Okay, so, that's, that's all the truck. So I'm going to put everything about. back in the truck. The truck's, yeah. the truck's going to my house. What kind of car are we looking for? I don't know. I, my friend doesn't love me. All right, thank you. Like I said, I understand him. She, he's everything's gonna happen. I already called the lawyer. He called the lawyer. We're good. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I get how it is, and like I said, I blow before I drive. So thank God I fucking have my money. Souvenir, though. I'll put it on my wall. <laughs> the only one time I ever had a DUI test, I passed. I promise. 
That's why I'm not against them. So Dan has all mixed stuff in the car that, that he needs? Yeah, it's his DJing stuff and all that kind of thing. Uh, I just need to let our dogs out. We have four dogs and a cat. And you guys are going home. Kennel. You're going home right now. What? I'm going home inside my house. Oh. There's a big, the big DJ box here. Yeah. Oh, at the very back? Yes. Okay. I'll put that so one in my garage. So and so I'm going to put my crap. Why, why are you continuing? I just thought I couldn't get dogs at home. And like, I, I know that, but why are you picking on the officer? better just to knock it off. It'll help everybody. Yeah, but I used to work in a prison. Well, so what? Who cares? Well, I'm talking about right now. Felons, but, uh, <laughs> this has nothing to do with what's going on now. We're just trying not to make things worse. I paid worse. all the court costs. I know how to do this. <laughs> you know how expensive that shit is? For a domestic? Uh, Ten grand on the train for six months of domestic. Twice.
because he was just down the street.
soon. I'm gonna do that for you. And two handcuffs because we're kind of off the control of the door, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna see you guys at the front now, right? You know, you tight on that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna lock them so you don't move on it. Um. Next time question on the rest for DUI. The next part of my investigation is breath tests. Determine the alcohol content. Are you willing to provide me a sample of your breath? Um, sure. Sure. Um, what's, if, I, if, I, if I don't, what, what's... Uh, let me explain it to you. Uh, 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 Yes, sir. Now, our question is, you can make the breath of the command stop all parts that we take the test. If you say yes, now you're asking what happens if you don't. Um, if you refuse to take the test of the test of you, your driving code is suspended for a period of one year from the first refusal. At 18 months, if the driving code has been previously suspended, or if you have previously signed in state statute 327.35215, the both DUI, the voting statute, or if you have to submit some off the test of your drug code of blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test, I will test the unit for driving code has been previously suspended, or if you refuse to find in the state statute 327.35215, so if you refuse to submit to an officer of your breath and no blood, you will be committing a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. If you refuse to submit to the test, I will test it as a misdemeanor to evidence of any criminal proceedings. Are you going to have to look at it now? Are you a CDL holder? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Sir, how are you? Good, man. Just checking out my son. He's impaired, driving. He's impaired? Mm -hmm. He's currently in custody for DUI. DUI. Did he, did he blow? Okay. We're at that point right now where he's asking if he's willing to blow or not. Cool. Let me find my way real quick. See what route this is. Crazy. Sorry about this. It's all right. Somebody, I guess. Huh. Yeah, we will be two. Jeez. Basically, the, if he refuses, he's just going. He's going to lose his license. I think he has refused. I think that's when. That's where we are with it. Give me a second. 
So if he refuses, he's going to have the opportunity to go to a driver's license hearing where he can get a hardship driver's license. Um, if this is his first DUI, then there's methods they can use to um, reduce the, the charges. And there's different things that they can do. With your attorney, you should be able to figure all that out. Yeah, he says his first DUI. Yeah, he should be. <coughs> what was he doing? Was he speeding or what was his deal? Was move over. Excuse me? Move over. What does move over mean? That's what you're Officers are working on the side of the road. He changed lanes. He went by us at 51. Yeah, boy. The way these damn kids get to more than age is unbelievable. Street. We're going to take him to the main station. We're going to give him the opportunity to, I think he's refused, so we're going to give him the opportunity to still provide a breath sample regardless. And then um, if it's still, if, it, if, it, if he still refuses, then um, he'll just get a DUI citation and he's going to go to the job after that. So he's got to spend eight hours from the time of the arrest. Where's the main station? 645 Pierce Street. Is that downtown? Yes, sir. Is that across from the empty park over there? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's going on with those two idiots? They're just yelling and screaming. She's very upset. What's what's uh, the status? He says he can't make up his mind on that. Yeah, I'm going to take him down to the instrument and uh, give him that opportunity. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to have to do that regardless. You have a driver's
Yeah, well, I need to get a bail bond, so I guess to get it out. It's, it's no. very cheap. You want to get... hold, on, hold on one second. One of these officers might get a bail Yes, sir. It's, it's a very cheap bond. Some, some mm -hmm. type of BS drama. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, well, yeah, the, the officer said he's down at the downtown station across that end park where we were, we were going down and feeding all the homeless people down there. I think that's the one right down there. All right, so. Well, there's, there's no reason for you to stay up there, both of them, and then I'm going to bail him out. That should be it. He's going to spend eight hours. Hold on a second. I'm sorry, what was that, boss? He's going to spend eight hours in, in custody. He's going to be there eight hours? He's going to spend eight hours. By state law, he's going to spend eight hours in custody. Okay, well, he's going to spend eight hours in custody. And, uh, then I'll get him out. Can I talk to him? Uh, okay. I have any five. Can you come back okay. here real quick? I can take her in the car in the house. I'll run a security test and everything about. If you trust me. Just one second. I'm asking 585 at that point. Can you talk to him real quick? Okay. Can you back up so we can talk to him real quick? I was gonna, yeah, I can do that. I was just gonna get your phone number real quick for him. Slow down. Good. Don't want you back on my phone. I'm not going to do it. So, at the end of the day, <laughs> So I can get his property. Um, 
so he'll be able to call you once everything, once he gets down to the county and everything, he'll be able to call you from there. Uh, usually they have a cell phone, but he won't be able to get the number for him. I'm going to put him in this property. Okay. Um, also, the officer said it would be eight hours before he could get the Yes, sir. Yes, so there's no reason hours. for me to go down there and hang around all night. Yeah. No, no, sir. Just wait for our call, make sure you're on high ring so you don't miss it. Yeah, I'm, so my ass is going back to sleep. Yeah, he'll, he'll get out <coughs> at 10 o'clock. 10? Yeah, as long as he blows under an 05, he'll get out at 10 o'clock. All right, cool. Yeah, I'd love to. Right. Yeah. Open down. the door. Oh, Open the door. You good, Bubba? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, you want all, all my right. stuff? I'm not, I'm not gonna hand yeah, him anything. No. Um, are you okay? That's up, it's his truck or is it your truck? Or truck well, it's his truck. Um, I just heard these two idiots in the backseat. Huh? As long as you go with them, the backseat passenger seems to be very sober. Are you sure? Well, we'll do, we'll sure. do a portable breath test. Yeah, we'll do a portable breath test on her. She's good to go. Because she's they're screaming drives. like a bunch of idiots. Right. She, oh, no, from the front, she's drunk as we roll down there. But the, we'll do, uh, as far as the back, back seat passenger, she seems to be completely sober. We'll do a portable breath test as long as she blows under 04. I'm going to let her take the truck. Okay. It's up to you, though, yes. or you think it's the best for your situation? Would, yeah, yes. Well, if she's straight, I don't mind her driving. I just, I, the way they're acting in there, I don't know. 
You do a PBT, my PBT is right there. Just go with him. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I got dumped today. You got dumped today? I did. But I won three grand. That's good. So it's okay. Oh, Jesus. Must be nice. Sorry to make it matter. No, it's gross. You know, after all the crap I think I expect the unexpected with these kids. Yeah. It's just, it's just never ending. Yeah. It's just... As soon as you think they've got them straightened up and they're doing good, then some crap happens. Don't give me a fault. At least there's no car wreck. It's better. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, I'll be yes. right back. That's the problem that we do. We do, we do all that stuff. Yeah. It's better. It's better. You're good. Thank you. So, are you okay to drive? Yes, sir. They're going to baptize me real quick, and then after that, it's all game. Yeah. I'm asking her where she lives. If not, I'll get your address from whatever. I just want to make sure the car gets home and she gets home. Do you realize so. your jacket's missed buttons? Yes, I did that on purposely because I was in a bikini contest earlier. When you win three grand, you don't know what's going on. One second. Big deep breath. You're like one of the biggest balloon of your life. Ready? Go. Gotta blow harder. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> She's a walking one too. She won't get nothing out of me. Oh, I don't want to drink alcohol. No, that's not. Yeah, that's not working. I can't drive it. Like no. I'm smarter than that. So, are you gonna take get that maneuver? Or are you, are you... I can get an Uber with anything, but so she can't drive. No, no I blow. A, I blow at a point one two. I cannot drive. I yeah. thought you weren't drinking. I drank, but I thought I was okay oh, by that. I wasn't going to say it unless I blew. Obviously, I did the test prior. I'm not going to take a charge before that. No, we don't want you to. No, I'd rather blow in the knot, you know? I'm not in yeah. trouble for nothing. We don't want you driving. Yes, you know? sir. No, I don't either at that yeah, point. The, you, you guys can call an Uber, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I can get great. it for us. I'll right. get the address from him right now. Where are the keys to that truck? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask. I think he might have had them, but I'm not, I'm not a guarantee. I don't know. Just to get the keys to that truck. Do you have somebody who can help pick it up? Not yet. Where are the keys to the truck? No. I have no idea what the address is for this house. Tana can tell you. She's fighting. She's what? What's that? Just, I don't know. I work with a business person and I think you're trying to be asshole. Yes, I've felt as I said, I would like to Just to satisfy her. I have, that's fine. I can drive all day. What's the address? <laughs> <laughs> no, just do it. Like, that's my husband. Of course I'm going to be sad. My husband's getting arrested. Like, yes. What do you want me to blow? You would do a car wheel? I can't. I wasn't in gymnastics, but I'll try. Like, I Tana, 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 stop. Please. No, they just said they, I can't blow. I'll, I'll blow. I haven't drank anything. I had one drink when I got there, and I haven't been drinking. I'll pass any sobriety questions. Could she blow? Yeah, but he's going to be sitting in the room. I was closed here in management for men's prison. Uh, so I'm really upset with you guys. Fuck your bullshit. Shut up. I'm sorry to get entertained now. I want to do a prison.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sad. Like, I was a commissary manager. I know, and that's I, why I said that I was a girl, but I didn't think I was that drunk. Like, I'd rather not drive. One six. She's worse than me. <laughs> I could go harder. I didn't like it. I'm a little well. long capacity. I know how to do this. I'm not dumb. I'm trying. I have a little lungs. When I did porn, everyone was gross. It's funny, I know it. Okay. Anna, please stop. Everything you're saying is being recorded. Please stop. Please stop. Can't get a good breath. Check her eyes. Check her eyes. Huh? One two five. That was close. One, I said one six. What is it? Point one two five. I don't know. Is that over? It's, uh, it's one and a half times over. Okay, thanks. It's more than me. Yeah. yeah, thanks. <laughs>
actual like human response. Man, I, I don't know how you guys can put up with this crap. We do it every night. Dude, I couldn't do it. Look at your face. I haven't seen your face. We do it every night. So, like, you're going to take my man away from her. Scott, do me a favor. See if she's got an Uber coming. See if she's got an Uber. Oh, wait a minute. I need. Tana, you have the key to the truck. No. He just gave it. He just gave it. I have to get the house key. I asked him if he got me my house key. I have four dogs and a cat that I have to feed. Can yeah. I get my purse? I just asked yes, him. Yes, go grab your purse. I got to go. 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 Can you help her get all of this? Tana, are there any house keys on here that you need? I don't know how much I'm telling you. Oh, good. I guess the old house key. I got the Uber. Okay. Good. How far are they away? Lights on, Justin. Good God. It's not going to impound. This guy's taking it. Guys the truck. Truck. I got guys I got my lawyer coming here to drive the Girl, truck. Girl, I'll take care of it. You're good. The stuff is in the back. He's I know. CDJ. It's yep. all coming. It's That's all right. coming. It's just like take what you need for the house and what I need. Shit. You're good. Right. Take what you need just, and what I need. Do you have lift? Give me a second. Hold on. Let's talk to the lawyer. There you go. All right. Seven, seven minutes away. Just help her give her stuff. Yeah, I'm just trying. Just what you need for tonight. I going in town, he's taking the truck. Okay, that's, so, that's all that we so really heard about. I already put everything back in the truck. The truck's, I got you. The truck's going to my house. Yes, sir, I got it. Thank you. Good job. We're on that road. Yep. You made it, Mike. Mike. I walked in here. Same time, and I'm like, <laughs> so I just I told him I'd be back. 
that spot. And the officer who was working on the side of the road was the officer with the silver car, and he came over here. Yes, Nick is gone. I think it's still Nick alive. Nick's gone. Terry's here. Terry woke up out of his bed and is here. It's one of the ones we get we get kind of funny about. Unfortunately, I didn't put one or two in there. That's it. Who he was. Not with the days of these things. Yeah. So Tam has all made stuff in the car that, that he needs? Yeah, it's his DJ and stuff and all that kind of thing. I just need to let our dogs out. We have four dogs and a cat that are literally are in home. the kennel. We're going home right now. Well, what? I'm going home, yes I know, sir. Uh, there's stop a being big, mean to me. Big, this dude's being so mean to me. Yeah. Oh, you're like very back. Yes. Okay, I'll put that one in my garage and I don't feel like I'm really going to crap. Like, stop talking, but you won't even look at me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're like, why, why are you continuing? I just tell him we have dogs at home and like... I, I know that, but why are you picking on the officer? Because I asked to speak to him and he didn't want to look at me in the face. Two minutes. I just, it's just better just to knock it off. It'll help everybody. Yeah, but I used to work at a prison. Well, so, so like, what? Who cares? We're well, talking about right now. I wouldn't see people this way. <laughs> this got nothing to do with what's going on now. We're just trying not to make things <laughs> worse. I have said anything. You don't want to test my best friend. For a domestic? I would take, oh. I would take this over. Ten grand, I'm sure you can see this much of a Every day. cheating on me, left me to hang out with another girl, and then told me two days later that he doesn't want to be around me. I don't want to be around you. 
I'm that fan. Huh? I'm that fan. This is my driving home. I'm a point one two. Yeah, it's not good. No. Our office. Here's your ride. We're here. We're here. Do you need help with anything? You good? Sorry. Ah, no worries. Consultation. A better night. <laughs> Not that many. <laughs> you know, I had to say, you do your job. I was just like, please, please. Standing in front of me, I could tell you if he was drunk or by just looking at him. Did he look like he was drunk when he saw him? Yeah, he, I mean, he didn't do. Oh, okay. He didn't do well in the first right next to And I, honestly, I don't know what the other officer saw. I could, I, from what I saw, he didn't do that. Well, oh well. If it's his first DUI, he should be okay. Yeah, it is. He's just going to have to go through a bunch of different steps. 
and your attorney should be able to take them through those different steps. And yeah, well, he had already he had already started telling me what you had just told me about the hardship license and yes. the DUI school and the whole thing. All right, he's going to have to jump through a bunch of hoops, and hopefully, uh, you know, your attorney will be able to work through it with him. Do the best thing I ever did was quit drinking. Every, every problem I've ever had in my life revolves around somebody drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100%. Fortunately, this is all we do all night long. I don't know how you do it. Junks off the road. I don't know how you do it, especially with people that keep running their mouths, man. I, just, I, I lock them all up. <laughs> Got to have patience of a saint. I guess. I guess so. I don't know how you do it. You push your button sometimes. Jeez. Just got to how far you can get away with it. That's all. Yeah. Well, you guys are, you guys are more than flexible. I know a lot of people that wouldn't put any of that. This day and age, we have no choice. That's why we have to remain as professional as possible, and in doing so, you have to be flexible. Yeah. I'm really surprised he was drinking because I was living at 9 o'clock and I was at my house and we just finished working out, you know, get them training arms. And then he was going to go pick her up because he had to be there at 10. And so as we were working out, I said, ah, I just feel really good. I'm not, not going to drink anything tonight. That's why I was surprised. All of a sudden I get this call that he's getting pulled over from DUI and the knucklehead screamed to me on the phone. As soon as I heard that, I knew there was a problem. I heard her attitude. You know, I didn't know if she'd got him in trouble or if he'd been drinking. But I was really surprised when, when the, the, the guy said he was drinking. That's the, the other officer said he had. He's got alcohol in his breath. So. Yeah. I went by there at 10. Because I had uh, a couple of my friends come in town, Jason Aldean's DJ was there. And so I went by at 10, I stayed till quarter to 11. And when I was there, he didn't drink anything in front of me. Because he was right there DJing. And I was sitting this close next to him. And he didn't, he said he must have started drinking after I left. If he had on his breath, he must have drank like shots of liquor or something. Because I mean, I smelled it when I came up on it, but I didn't, you know, I, he ducked his head away from me so I couldn't look in his eyes. Yeah. My eyes are usually the window to the world, so yeah. oh, I just yeah. could, couldn't figure it out from there. Yeah. How are you? Can we help you? Uh, yeah, I came here for to help drive Tana or the other person home. Oh, they're already gone. Oh, they're already left? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I thought she could finish picking up their last night. You guys have a good night. Yeah, you too. Okay. I wonder who they were. Someone pulling over there. Well, I don't know that either one of those people who had my son's truck on.
turn these lights off.